Hi, all you healthy humans. Welcome to New Leaf Table TV. I'm your host, Chef E. Today, we're gonna make beef broccoli bowls with a peanut sesame sauce. It's gonna be delicious. It's three easy steps, a pan in the oven, a pan on the stove, easy cleanup. Your family's gonna love it. So here we have organic broccoli. It's already cut up and in our sheet pan with unbleached parchment paper. Um, we have one pound of sirloin steak, some organic, no sugar added peanut butter, some plain tahini, which is just ground up sesame seeds, garlic, ginger, and then some scallions and sesame seeds for topping, and then all of our marinades and spices. So to begin with, you wanna preheat your oven to 425 degrees. I've already got mine going, so if you haven't done that yet, stop and get that going. The next thing we're gonna do is take our steak, and I'm gonna go ahead and slice it into slices so that it'll be ready to go in the pan and it'll cook up really quickly. So just some thin slices. If you've had it in the refrigerator for just a little bit, it'll be easier to slice. Now I'm gonna take my steak and put it back in my bowl and get it marinated. So to marinate my steak, I'm gonna take avocado oil, put it over the top, coconut aminos, about a tablespoon. You can mix all this together in a separate bowl. I don't see a reason to waste dishes. I just put it all in the same dish. Some rice and vinegar, a little bit of onion powder, some garlic powder, and last but not least, a little bit of salt and pepper. Just give that a good stir, mix it up really well, and you can set this aside. We're just gonna marinate while we do other things. You could also live, leave this in the fridge for about an hour um, before you're ready to cook. All right, I can already smell it. It's gonna be delicious. Okay, I'm gonna set this guy aside. Okay, now let's get our broccoli ready to go. I'm gonna do avocado oil again. Just sprinkle it over the top. And a little bit of coconut aminos. This is kind of my broccoli hack. Every time I make broccoli, this is how I make it. And it's so delicious. I'm gonna mix it all in here in just a second. Some garlic powder. and salt and pepper. Now I found the easiest way to mix all this is to just get your hands dirty and just mix it up right in the pan. Make sure all of those flourlets are nice and coated. There we go. Make sure they're evenly spaced on the pan and pop this in the oven. You'll wanna bake this for about 20 to 25 minutes until these broccolis are nice and crisp and done. Okay, while our broccoli's cooking and our steak is marinating, we're gonna whisk together our sauce and then we'll cook our steak really quick and assemble our bowls. So first of all, I'm gonna peel our ginger Ginger is so tasty, very aromatic. And to peel it, I just use the back of a spoon. You can use a vegetable cutter. Sometimes you get big chunks. So there we go. Got it all nice and peeled off. So we're gonna take our ginger and just grate a little bit into our sauce. 
A little bit goes a long way. Careful with your fingers. You just need about a half an inch. There we go. Now we're gonna take our garlic and use our garlic press and put about two cloves into our sauce. Alrighty, we got our garlic and ginger. Now we're gonna do about a fourth of a cup of this organic unsweetened peanut butter. I just can kinda estimate it. And then we'll do a tablespoon of the tahini. And then we'll do a tablespoon of some warmed water. That'll help thin our sauce a little bit. And then we'll add our, about a tablespoon of toasted sesame oil. A tablespoon of rice vinegar. And last but not least, three tablespoons of our coconut aminos. All right, we can whisk together. If you find your sauce is too thick or too thin, you can add more ingredients to kind of thin it or thicken it. I find the best way to thicken it would be to add a little bit of arrowroot powder. If you want to thin it, I would put in um, some coconut milk. So let's just get this nice and whisked. Alrighty, it's coming together nicely. So I always find it helpful to give things a taste as you're cooking and just make for sure you're on the right track. Oh yeah, that's perfect. Alrighty, time to cook up our steaks. So take your avocado oil and coat the bottom of your skillet and let that heat up for just a second. You never wanna start your steaks on a cold skillet. You wanna put your pan about medium high and wait till your oil gets nice and hot. Okay, our pan's getting nice and hot. You'll be able to tell that the oil is gets really runny and liquidy when it's warming up and hot. It's less viscous. You can also do the water test and just put a little bit of water on your fingertips and you'll hear it sizzle when you put it in the pan. So our pan's good to go. Now we can just add our steak. You might have to do batches. I'm gonna save these last couple of pieces for our next batch so I don't overcrowd our pan. All you need is one to two minutes on each side. So I'm gonna go ahead and flip these guys on over. Give it another minute and a half on this side and then we'll put our next batch in. All right, it's been another minute. Now I'm just gonna take our steak off of the heat. Careful not to burn yourself like I am. <laughs> and you can turn your stove off. Also, just a little tip, never run hot water on your hot pan because you will get a lot of steam in your face. All right, let's get the broccoli out of the oven and assemble our bowls. All righty, we're almost there. Let's chop up some scallions to go on top and then we'll assemble our bowl. So just give them a rough little chop. And you can leave the big leafy green part and then we'll make our bowls. All right, add some broccoli and a couple of pieces of meat. And 
and then we will drizzle some of our peanut sauce on top. Super delicious. And then topped with some chopped scallions and some sesame seeds. And there you have it guys, our broccoli beef bowls with a peanut sesame sauce. Super delicious, your family's gonna love it. Thanks for watching New Leaf Table TV. Until we dine again, farewell for now, healthy humans. To subscribe to New Leaf Table's meal plan service with weekly meals and easy delivery through your existing Amazon Fresh membership, visit our website at newleaftable.com. And also, please hit the subscribe button to our YouTube channel. Give it another minute and a half on this side, and then we'll put our next batch in. You could play like an outtake right here. <laughs>